Hello, doctors. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am going to be demonstrating upper extremity myotomes. The patient is seated in good posture. The first one that we're going to do is C1. We want to passively flex the cervical spine. The patient is going to resist our motion. We are going to be pushing into extension. I always like to put one hand back here on the back part of the cervical spine. Obviously the, the hand that I'm going to be testing with is on the forehead. And I ask the patient to resist for a count of five. Go ahead and resist. One, two, three, four, five. And relax. Bring the patient's head back to neutral. And then we go into C3. We're gonna be testing the right hand side. So we passively laterally flex the cervical spine. I ask the patient to resist my motion for a count of five. Go ahead and resist. One, two, three, four, five. And then we test the opposite side. Again, we passively laterally flex. Go ahead and resist. Now we go to C4, that is shoulder elevation. So we ask the patient to shrug their shoulders. We place both hands on the shoulders and we press down. We try to depress the shoulders for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. And then we go to C5, that is going to be shoulder abduction. We can test both sides at the same time. So we ask the patient to abduct the shoulders to 90 degrees. You place one hand on each upper arm and you press down for a count of five. One, two, three, four, five, and relax. Dermatome level C6 has two tests that we can perform, the biceps and the wrist extension. Obviously, we're gonna do both sides. I'm only gonna demonstrate it on one side for, for time reasons. We want to have the patient flex the bicep Place one hand on the shoulder, one hand on the upper arm. Have them resist our motion for a count of five. Go ahead and resist. One, two, three, four, five. And relax. And then we do wrist extension. So the patient extends the wrist. You can also have the patient doing this on a desk where the forearm is on a desk where it's supported, or you can do it with the freestanding. You want to place one hand on the posterior forearm, one hand on the posterior wrist, and ask the patient to resist. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, relax. To test the myotome for C7, there are two muscles that we test. We test the triceps going into extension, and we also test the wrist flexor. Gonna have the patient flex the elbow, and we are going to place one arm, one hand on the upper arm, one hand on the forearm, and ask the patient to resist our motion. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, very good. And then also for C7 is wrist flexion. So you're gonna have the patient with the forearm supinated, have them flex the wrist, place one hand on the forearm, one hand on the flexed palm and press, have them resist. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. Now for C8, the test is thumb extension. So have the patient with the elbow flexed to 90 degrees and the forearm is in neutral so that the thumb is pointing towards the ceiling. Have them extend the thumb and you can place your one hand just holding their palm and then press against the thumb. One, two, three, four, five. Very good. And then for T1, it is finger abduction and finger adduction. So what you wanna do is ask the patient to splay their fingers and resist my motions. And you just gently press the fingers together for a count of five to see if they can resist these motions. And then have the patient bring all the fingers together and have them push against your hand. So go ahead and splay your fingers. Okay. 
And then we're going to do a couple at a time. Go ahead and, very good. 